Hi guys, welcome back to Bella's Big Adventures. Today we're heading into Austria to a camp shop to see if we can find some essentials for the van. Uh, we really need a camping table, so hopefully we'll find a few goodies and we'll show you what we find. Well that was a really successful shopping trip, we bought far more than we intended. Right, we're going to go to the van tomorrow and we'll show you all the goodies we bought and give it a good clean and sort out. Hi guys, by the magic of video it is now tomorrow so to speak. We have come along to the van. Uh, last weekend we went off to Piestani campsite again um, in the hope that lightning couldn't strike twice but quite literally the heavens opened on our first day. It started off at 28 degrees and sunny and all of a sudden I commented to Doug that it had gone very dark and a big gust of wind almost lifted the awning off. Doug's hanging on to it for dear life. It starts to hail, lighten, rain, you name it. We had it all in about five minutes. Uh, we were absolutely drenched through to the skin and unfortunately it carried on raining into the night time and thunder and lightning so we headed on home again early so that we didn't get stuck this time but it meant we had to put the awning away wet um, so at least the next neighbour has actually gone away for the weekend so we can unwind the awning and let it dry out so today we're planning on showing all the goods we bought yesterday in the camp shop which was great fun and um, cleaning the van inside and out ready for our next adventure so stay tuned and I'll show you some of the things we bought I just thought I'd show you the hoover that I mentioned in the van tour um, it has to pass through a hole in the back into the garage where it plugs into the slot I showed you and uh, there's obviously a very very long uh, vacuum tube and an extendable pole and it's got various attachments and it does reach all along the van it's a little bit cumbersome I would say it's not necessarily something I would respect myself got them done to work because uh, slight school girl error we've bought the mop head but not the mop pole so we're having to mop the floor by hand but hey -ho, we'll learn <laughs> one of the other jobs we've got to tackle today is the cupboards because obviously there's lots of rattles and clangs and things like that when we're driving along so we've cut a piece of anti-slip matting to put on the bottom of the shelf and we're going to wrap up these metal glasses which seems a contradiction in terms but they're really great because obviously if they fall out of the cupboard they're not going to smash. So at the shop yesterday we got some plate dividers and I got, I got these online actually, just bottle protectors but we we're hoping that they'll fit around the glasses and stop them clanking together. So that's the next job. So that's them covered, super quick and simple, just slide over and push the excess into the top. So hopefully they now won't clank together when we're driving along. So next up is the cups and bowls. Uh, obviously we've been using kitchen roll up till now, which is not ideal. It still clanks about a little bit. Anyway, so we've got some of these plate dividers, as I said before, we've only got 12, so I'm not sure if they've got enough or not, but we'll give it a go and see if this works. Doug's going to cut a piece of anti-slip to put in the bottom of the cupboard because we haven't done that one yet. And you can buy it in rolls um, from lots of places. They have it on Amazon as well, but we got this in this um, camp shop. So that's done. It's one of those simple jobs that only takes a few minutes and actually is going to make a huge difference, I think. So So we're just measuring up for the piece of slip mat for the bottom shelf. So the plates and little plates go in this section. It's looking much tidier already, I think. So there we have it, plates and cups and glasses and some space for food and things and we get some put non-slip on all shelves. So that's those done, all nice and sorted. Now one of the other things we bought yesterday was this pop-up draining board. Uh, it's got a little tray underneath it which we can use for other things obviously as well to catch all the drips. I uh, haven't tried popping it up yet, maybe Doug could just give me a hand because one-handed it's not so easy. So we'll be able to just stand it. Then put your cutlery in and your plates in there. Right, and some of the other things we've bought recently was this, <laughs> which just looks like a giant torpedo. It's basically to protect, um, we've got a short cable and a medium sized electric cable. And obviously if you're on a site that's got your hookup a long way away, which sometimes they do have, especially in Europe, uh, you can join two safely together and it's waterproofed by being kept in this plastic container. So that's the one thing. Something we bought our friends years ago after parties, 
party cleanups, uh, sticks in the bottom of your sink and cleans your cups and glasses. And given that we haven't got a dishwasher, uh, this is going to be great for scrubbing the tea stains off my cups. So that's one for the kitchen. Doug bought these, not quite sure what they are. Some sort of suction cups that you attach to the side of your van. Um, we could hook the dog on it, uh, you know, stick it on the side and attach the dog's long lead to it so she can sit out with us. We have also bought a hammock, which I suppose we could attach one side to the van and one side to a tree. And there are two in a pack. The thing I'm most excited about, of course, is the toaster. Because obviously in a European van, there's no oven, there's no grill even in this one. I don't know why they didn't even put a toaster grill in, but... Anyway, this one goes over a gas stove um, and supposedly cooks four slices of toast. The other thing is something that most people have, I think, is a HEOS water connector so that you can plug your um, clean water supply in. If you're on a, a pitch that's got water and electricity and everything, then you can leave it plugged in and it doesn't overflow. The other practical thing we bought is this Sol Bio um, cleaning fluid. Um, it's to put in your toilet and your grey waste. Um, apparently it smells nice, it's mint and eucalyptus. It helps to protect your van from um, smells, presumably, and from hard water formation, so if you get lime scale and things like that. But yes, it does say you can go in the waste tank, you can go in any flush tank, and the wastewater tank as well and you can use it as a tank cleaner so it's worth putting a little bit especially when we've got hot weather like we have now in the wastewater tank to stop it from getting a bit smelly so i shall give that a go and i'll let you know what i think because at the moment we're just using you know the nasty horrible formaldehyde type things this is a green product and can go into a septic tank the other thing we got was this thaw hold down side strap kit <laughs> As I said earlier, our awning, wind out awning, almost took off in the storm last week. And we did have some little guy ropes on it, but they obviously weren't strong enough. So this one's it's quite a weighty product, to be honest. Um, so we're going to give that a go on the awning next time we go out. It seems to be a bit more robust. One of the other practical things we bought was one of these little drying rails. Um, it's hanging off the bathroom window at the minute. It just hooks over the glass and then you hang your wet cosy and things like that on there when you've been for a swim. So saved having a great big washing line. And our big purchase for the day, and the one that was most important to be honest, was a table. Um, we've got this Westfield Arcolite 100. Uh, we'll take it out of the box and show you. It's got adjustable legs and adjustable feet, so if you're on uneven ground, it should be okay. And you just clamp the middle shut to hold the legs in place. I think. Mm, it's got little flat feet to help stabilise it on uneven ground. And it's got height adjustable legs, so you can just unhook these and uh, raise them up. Extend the leg and then twist them round to tighten it. I think it's unscrewed slightly to be honest. And then it clips down. We also bought uh, a little side table, uh, also by Westfield. It's got a little top on and a little foldy thing. But this top comes off and turns into a really useful stool if you've got extra visitors. And obviously it just folds away flat, so that's quite handy. So this would be good for our morning cup of coffee. Right, well Doug's been organising the boot. And we've got all the spare bits and pieces and the tables and the mats and everything safely stowed. We've got to wind in the awning, obviously. It's nice and dry now, so that's good. Looking good. So while Doug uh, winds the awning in, all it's left to say is thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed our practical tips and things to do in a new motorhome. I know as a newbie it can be a little bit overwhelming. Uh, there's a whole lot of things to learn. But we've had fun so far, even with the thunderstorms and things. So thanks for tuning in. See you next time.